kiss for you. Hey, hey everyone, Tassidio here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix your chair mobile chair is safe or FTC for short. After updating your OS to the latest system, it's just stuck on the Android logo or an MS boot loop, and then even after flashing it, it's just stuck on the black screen, it's black and half gray. So you're going to need 4 different files for this. So these 4 files right here is very important. Once you've extracted them all, you're going to USB VCOM drivers and then click install, click yes, and just wait. And just like that, it's installed. And for Windows 7 users, this might be a bit different, so I suggest going to their page. Just double click on this one, it's going to take you to their page. And once you've downloaded this, go back, go to SP Flash Tool, scroll down and click Flash Tool again. And this is going to take you right here. Okay, it's got your loading file, click choose, and then find your firmware, July 2020. Click the Android Scatter right here and click open. And just wait. And then go ahead and scroll down, locate the text in, click the location button, and go back again, find the black screen fix flare where you extracted it. Go ahead and click that and find the text in bin, click open again. Once that's done, it's going to be checked now and go up here again, make sure that the preloader is not checked. In most cases, it's going to break your phone once your phone is been break, that is going to be a lot more harder to fix. And once that's done, just go ahead and click download. So everything is set up right. So I'm going to explain a few things right now. I can't show it to you exactly that this phone is gonna get formatted or a bit flash because I already flashed this once because this phone has been into that, into that same exact situation we're dealing with right now. And then this is how I fixed it. All the other methods that's in YouTube, none of those work for me. This is the only one that worked. So for example, your phone is completely dead right now, right? So even if, if you click the power button, you don't know if it's open or turned off. So I suggest going into a dark place or just turn off your light room and then click open and then you're going to see a small light green light like that but of course it's just like black just a bit white and light black I don't know what I'm talking about but just just like that a light green okay so in, once you have found it out that it's still turned on go ahead and turn it off just by holding the power button and then the volume down and then the volume up and then press them all at the same time and then just wait for a few seconds and it's going to turn off Once that is turned off, you can see it's turned off, don't press the power button, it's turned off, okay? So you're just going to plug your USB plug in right here. Once you have plugged in your phone, your flash tool will look like this. It's going to say system download flash. This is going to take 2-3 to three minutes to finish. Now while this is ongoing, don't do anything to your phone. Just leave your phone be, because if you accidentally remove your phone from your computer, it might corrupt your system OS much more, even more. That would be much more harder to fix. So once you have seen the download OK finish, just go ahead and remove it from your computer, turn on your phone, and it's going to say power by Android, it's going to stay there for a couple of minutes, and it's going to boot up the Cherry Mobile, and then right into the system. So before this video ends, I just want to say thank you to Mr. Cortez and his Facebook group, because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to find the right fixable firmware for this phone. And that's it, I'm going to leave this channel down below. So go ahead and subscribe to his YouTube channel and that's it.